the game can see the boxing boys. What's up, yeah. champ? <laughs> you doing? Looking good. You must have got tall. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm talking about how you look tall. I'm skinny. <laughs> Wait, I, we, we're about the same height. Hey, Vander, wow. he's a middleweight now. Look at him. What, but the, you're just you like, don't, you I don't said, remember we're the same height. Was he a middleweight when, when you fought him? When we was in the ring, when you, when you hit me with the head one time, I was like, oh, oh man. man. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> look at him. I hit him with my head. Tyson said, bro. I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you. He hit me with his head. I don't even put my hair forward. You lay with your head. You lay with your head. <laughs> So Andrew, it looks like we're gonna finally get a Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. What do you think of that fight? If, it, if assuming Tyson Fury takes Fury is a joke. So what? Fury and Tyson Wilder. Fury is a joke. Well, my, my, I actually think that uh, you know, I think it it can be competitive, but it can always be awkward because both of them got long arms. And if 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 one keep bagging back. And I just, I'm telling you, you know, but I, but I actually think that in one quick shot that that uh, Deontay go, the fight could be over. Not Fury's had his problems, been out of the ring a couple of years, drug problems. Plus, um, he's been down by a cruiserweight. So going back to your point, you think that will give Wilder a big advantage? In fight? No, no, Wilder, Wilder hit hard anyway. Yeah, I'm telling you, it don't make no difference who you put in there with him. He, what are you gonna do? He gonna throw that one too, and if, if he catch you, that guy, I'm telling you, he's in great shape, and that's what he do. I'm telling you, when when a guy have confidence, what do he do? Get you in trouble, he, man. He he practice like he want to fight. This is what he gonna do. I'm telling you, you know, I'm telling you, I, think, I, I think this can be awkward for it because this is the first time he fights somebody well, longer arms, but but. What difference yeah. that make is the guy's not quick with them long arms. Mm -hmm. He's not well, quick, now, but it's awkward. Now, you know? Vander, you were talking about uh, Deontay's confidence. Did you see uh, this morning he crashed uh, Tyson Fury's way in uh, to basically confront him, trying to promote the fight? Did you happen to see that at all? No, I didn't. You, you got to show it to me. Right, right yeah. yeah. What? He came in. He went all the way to Belfast. And he was getting a lot of fan, a lot a lot of love and support from all those UK fans. Yeah, yeah, I'm telling you. Who you got on here, Deontay? Yeah, that Deontay Wilder flew into Belfast for Tyson Fury's fight. You live in Belfast? No, 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 no. Uh, I got a correspondent out there. That was, that's their footage. Deontay crashed the weigh-in, got into it with Tyson Fury's dad, and then after the weigh-in, they went to a hotel lobby and they had to be separated. It was it was quite the uh, f quite the uh, show. Yeah, it could be partially in there, though. Oh, uh, well, 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 I'm sure it is, but you know what? But, but people like the hype, you know? Absolutely. The people like the hype, you know, to me, me as a fighter, I, you know, I went. I wasn't that way because I kind of felt felt that it could backfire. Right. You know, it, it could backfire. I mean, anybody can get hurt at any given time because so somebody else take it seriously. And you know, I'm to, you know, as fighters, we go in there and we go out there and do our very best. When it's all said and done, you know, you know, we want to knock the person out, not that we wanted to kill him and all this and stuff. It's a boxing match. You want to do your very best, but whatever, sell the tickets and stuff, you can try to do it in a mean, in a fashion that it draws people. But I, I, sometimes I think when you, you joke too much, you lose your edge. And then all of a sudden, that guy in your mind, he, he got it in there. So I ain't like joking about nothing. So I wasn't going to say much. And I realized when I go out there, I will be in the very best shape that I could be in. Because you know what? The quicker you take him out, your, your, you know, the more fight you have in you. At any given time, or elbow, or anything, or anything, any kind of accident, it's so When the referee stops the fight, it's over. So, you know, you, you can't take no chances in, the, in none of these situations. And, you know, so you get to know how it's going to turn out. You get somebody else hyped in yourself and they do something crazy. 